So let's say you love using the Gutenberg editor, but you also like some aspects of the DV theme builder. Now, if you didn't know, you can actually use these in conjunction with each other. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use both uh, in your design process. So let's dive in and let me show you step by step how you can use the Gutenberg editor and the DV theme builder. Now, before we get started, I'd also like to remind you that if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, you will get access to my bonus, which is a course that teaches you how to design websites professionally called the Web Design Formula. Now, this course will teach you everything that you need to know about Divi and also all the core principles of design. All you have to do is to buy Divi using my affiliate link. It's in the video description below. And once you've done that, go to funnels income.com on the bottom right there is a chat bubble. If you just leave me your uh, receipt number, I will give you access to the full course. All right, so without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let me show you how to use Gutenberg and Divi. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to go in and just create a page, just any standard page, so that I show you how these both work together. So you can name this page whatever you want. So in this case, I'm just going to call this uh, test and then click on uh, use default editor. Okay, so now this is the main uh, editor that uh, comes with uh, WordPress. This is the Gutenberg editor. So how you use this is pretty much similar to how Divi is because the blocks in the Gutenberg editor are the actual modules in Divi. All right, so let's see how it works. So you can either use this plus button here at the top or you can use this one right here. So both of them do the, the exact same thing. So if I click here on this plus button, you can see here we have quite a lot of uh, blocks that we can use. You can also use a search. So let's say I search for button. You can see here the button comes up. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to build a basic page. All right. So let's start by adding a heading. So in fact, let me just come over here and let's add a heading. And let's just call this. This is my heading. Okay. Great. So this is our heading. Now, the reason why I really prefer using Divi is because we have much more flexibility when it comes to customizing this. So as you can see here, I don't have much to do. I can just change this to a heading three, heading four, and so on. But when it comes to the color settings, yes, we do have them here, but Divi is more advanced in that case. So let's add our gray here. But of course, you can also use a custom color but I'm just going to leave things uh, very easy. Okay, so I'm going to go in and add another one. So this time, I'm going to split this into two. So I'm going to come over here and look for my layout elements. And let's see. So over here, we're going to need some columns. Great. So I can choose now which type of columns I need to use. So I'm going to go with, uh, I'm going to go with this. All right, so this is two thirds and one third. So over here on the third, I'm going to add some paragraph text. And I'm just going to use some lorem text here. Nothing fancy. So I'm just going to copy that. Come over here and paste it. Now, over here on the left, I'm going to add, let's say, an image. And I have some images in my media library. So I'm just going to use, let's say, this one right here. Hit select. And you can see here my image has been inserted. Now, the really cool thing here is you can also add more blocks. So if I click here on add block, I can actually add a heading block and uh, drag it into position. So to drag, you can just click over here and just drag it wherever you want it to go. So let's say uh, I'm going to call this my other heading. Okay, so as you can see, we're building this page and uh, some people may prefer to design their websites this way using the Gutenberg editor. I um, mean, it's also fully responsive, which is really cool. Right, so the next step now is to add a DV block. So I'm going to come over here and here's Divi Layout. So if I click here on Divi Layout, I can now click on Build New Layout. So if I do that, I can go in now and add all the elements that I'm normally used to when I use Divi. So here I'm going to click on Build from Scratch, and then I'm going to go with, let's go with three equal columns. And in each column, I'm going to add a blurb. There we go. And here, I'm going to keep it very basic. So I'm going to come over here to my uh, use icon and choose an icon to go with my design here. So I'm going to go with this one. And by the way, as you can see in the Divi Builder, I can go in and I can customize all this. I can even uh, reduce the size. I can add this in a circle. So let's reduce the size here. So use icon font size. Let's reduce that down. And now let's customize this text. And let's say I want to use 
Poppins. <laughs> you guessed it. I use Poppins all the time. All right, so let's make this bold. And over here on this text as well, we might as well go in and customize this. So again, I'm going to use Poppins. So pretty much that's looking great. And now here on this description text, I may want to increase this a little bit to about 20. All right, so this is just a quick design. So I've added that. What I could also do is duplicate this uh, and drag it over here. In fact, let me have two columns. It's complicating things. All right, so I have two columns here. I'm going to save this. Now, at the moment, it looks like things don't look right. But now, if you take a look at this, you can see that we've pretty much added this layout over here. So what we could also do, let's say uh, I wanted to change my column structure here. I could go in, go into columns. And if I wanted to change my column structure here, I can come in here, change my column structure and continue with my designs. But I'm just going to leave this as it is. So as you can see, I've pretty much added Gutenberg blocks. And right below here, I've added the Divi design. So, all right. So let's say you want to go back in and customize this Divi part that we've just added in. So at first, to be honest, it was quite confusing for me because I couldn't find my way in. So at first I clicked on the Divi thing and that didn't work because this changes the block style. I came to these three little dots and again, uh, nothing is here. So the way to do it is to come over here to this pencil icon. Now that's what's going to take you into the actual editor. So now I can go in and let's say, for example, I want to go in and add a background color here. I can just go in. Let's add a really gray background. There we go. So I'm just going to go all the way up here to about F7. And then let's just add some rounded corners here on the border. So let's go with, uh, let's go with four. Nothing fancy. If we save that, save this one more time and close out of this, that means that this is going to take us back into, into our editor. And look at that. So all this here can be uh, edited using the DV Builder, but also continue doing this with your normal editor. But of course, when I take a look at this, I can see that it is quite tricky. Of course, there are people that may want to use this form of design where in certain cases they want to uh, use the Gutenberg editor and include things that don't exist on the Gutenberg editor, like for example, how I've added this blurb. So when you design using this, there are also other ways that you can go in and utilize the, uh, the builder itself. So let me show you another way that you can go in and uh, do this. So I'm just going to go back over here. I'm just going to click leave. And then let's say I add another page. So this one here is just going to be called test two. So I'm just going to go in and say test two, default editor. Now let's say I was starting off with the editor itself, the DV layout. So I can just come over here and look at this. I can actually build this from the library. So if I click load from library, this is going to give me access to my DV library, my pre-made layouts. So I can use any one of these in my designs as I am going through this. So let's say I'm going to go with this T, a shop use this layout. So this layout now is going to be brought into the actual Gutenberg editor. So this is different to uh, pretty much using the DV Builder on its own. So this is another way that you can design your pages. So it's almost done now. So as you can see, uh, it's going to load up in this area here. And this won't go full width because this is constrained by how Gutenberg works. So this could be maybe our landing page and uh, I can go in and make for the customizations into this. But this is how you would go in and add these elements. So let's say you wanted to add more Gutenberg items. You can just click here on add block and let's say uh, you want to add some code. You can just add your code in here and this will be your design. Now let's take a look and see how this page looks. So I'm just going to click publish, publish one more time and then I'm going to click on view page. There we go. So now our page has been exported and this is what it looks like. Now, in this case, what I would actually do is, all right, so as you can see here on my preview, we have a sidebar over here, but if you don't need the sidebar, what you can do is to come back over here and on the DV page settings, you can see here it's set to the right sidebar. If you click on this drop down, you can just go in and say no sidebar and that has gotten rid of all the sidebars. So now you can hit update. And it looks like this has been updated. So if I refresh this page now, you can see now that our layout doesn't have the uh, sidebar anymore. 
Now, you may be asking, why would you want to use this form of design where you use the Gutenberg editor and the DV editor? Now, of course, in my case, I would just go full in and use the DV builder, but there's some people out there that prefer to use the Gutenberg editor. So in the, in the situations where you may want to use this is, let's say you want to create a landing page and you're missing a lot of elements from the Gutenberg editor. This is where you can just add that particular page on your website, which has the DV elements. But as I mentioned, in my case, I would pretty much use uh, the DV builder throughout. But this is an option for those of you that want to use the Gutenberg editor and as well as use a few elements from the Gutenberg editor. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today's video. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified when I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.